Basically. All right, guys, so we've got a new product today. Very excited. It is kind of a weird color. It's pink, but we've got the new BC 5000 from Puff. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Robert. I'm here with our tech, James. What's up, guys? And we've got a very cool new product, and I'm pretty sure it's the first one out in the market. So we want to show you guys this very, very cool steering wheel racing hub. So check it out. Basically right now we're partially disassembled. Um, this is a piece here that's gonna bolt up to the actual hub that's on the steering column. But as far as the OEM hub that they sell, it looks like this. It comes with this carbon plate here that's gonna sit either under or underneath the steering wheel or over the steering wheel, kind of whatever you guys choose. We've been doing a few of these on the BMWs and the Supras. And then we posted it on our Instagram and our Facebook and we got a bunch of questions from other owners of cars like JDM cars and just models that weren't available. So we, we did some research and then we actually got DM'd by this company Zestech and they said that they offer a huge lineup of cars that aren't available yet in the uh, for the other brands. So yeah, they've got Subarus, GTRs, or even they're even working on the Ford Raptor, Ford Mustang, yeah, GT500, uh, Camaro. They've got a bunch of different So ones. very, very cool. And if you guys aren't familiar, basically, you know, with a lot of the newer cars, you have a bunch of buttons on the steering wheel now, yeah. right? And you'll lose a lot of functions if you want to do a racing steering wheel, like an OMP, Spark, go or your other Normal, typical racing yeah. steering wheels so when you lose that functionality it, it's cool it's like a pro and con but with the Zestech hub you are able to program all these buttons to whatever function you want them to be so like for example this could be your cruise control you know uh, this could be your radio this could be your volume uh, this could be like your sport mode or traction off stuff like that yeah it's fully customizable to all the options on your OEM steering wheel yeah, and it's very easy to install. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully this is the first one, so <laughs> we'll see right now. But so far it's going very well. And then obviously you get the quick release hub. So this were on the car. And then as you can see, it's got the data ports directly on there. So once you release it, no code should come up on the car, which is what's really cool about it. Yeah. All right, dude, let's put this thing together. So probably just install this part first. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we don't have the hub. Wait, wait. <laughs> you get all these cool things. So like, again, every button is programmable to what you want it to. Um, they give you a login or a program to use on your laptop computer. And then a cable plugs into the back of this. So as you can see, you got the USB-C there. And then you're able to map all the buttons to what you want and even give you like a cool sticker sticker sheet these these wheels always give me like a sim racing vibe 100 you know? especially well i don't know if i'm a, or like I'm a gt to showcase that has paddles like, but <laughs> it, it has we remove the magnetic paddles but yeah it makes it the click noise so yeah even if it'd be look if, it's gonna look kind of weird if you have a manual car and you've got and paddles. you've got fat paddles on there but you can still i believe code the paddles to be whatever you want yeah, yeah like ac on and off yeah, like <laughs> yeah on this particular car obviously it's a manual but it would look kind of weird with the manual the manual car with paddles but again if you have another car yeah. at least it, it to me the benefit of being able to switch it from one car to the other and then just immediately at least be able to paddle shift on your automatic or your uh, paddle shift car it's worth having it in a manual yeah. so i don't think this the owner of this car obviously doesn't have one in his other cars yet so we're probably going to leave the paddles themselves off but it's cool that it, every hub comes with the magnetic yep. assembly already Standard. yeah one thing we don't know is that if you switch it from one car to the other right you've got programming for one car yeah Obviously, it's going to be different on a different car. Like, there's different functions on every car on every yeah. steering wheel. So, I need to call Zestech and ask, hey, do you have to and clarify all of that? Yeah, program it's, it's or does it just switch? It's transferable. Like, you can physically put it on any Correct. other hub, but whether yeah. all the functions serve the same purpose, I don't know that for certain yet. Yeah. yeah. So, we'll find that out. Stay tuned. There is a clip somewhere in here. I cannot find it. Eventually. After 
some coercion. Watch it just not come out, and it's these. It, I think these just pop off instead. Ooh. Dang, dude, that thing was on there. <clears throat> all right, so basically uh, provided with all of the parts for the Zestec hub, we've got these right here, um, which basically just convert from the OEM clock spring to the Zestec little plate in there that has all of the, all of the actual functions within it. So these go and convert to this, which will sit on the front of the hub that we have right here. And then in addition, we're putting in one more wire down here and this is just to power the, um, the hub. So this one's gonna go in just top left here and pin in here just to add to the power supply for the wheel, just like that. Basically, I'm gonna have to run this wire right here. I'm probably gonna have to extend it depending on where the fuse box is in this car, but I'm gonna have to run it to um, any fuse port that'll um, power on with accessory and then power off with the, the vehicle off, obviously, so that the wheel turns on when you turn the key, or in this case, when you press the push to start button. I wanna see if I can pull, I don't know if I can use that as a ground. Okay. So I've got 12 volts on, on that one. I wonder, let's see if that, yeah, see, so that's inverse. So that means power is gonna be, yeah, the. Yeah, so we went ahead and put the hub on now, guys, and we're just going to um, connect the supplied Zestec harness here to their spacer plate. That's got all the electronics within it. So as soon as we have this on with the actual hub, there'll be a piece that plugs in from that. And then this will all be one assembly and the quick release will be ready to go on and off. Good. All right, so now that everything's assembled and we can see the wheels getting power and all that, we're going to go ahead and take it off and we're gonna head over to Nick's laptop and we're gonna plug in here and we're going to code <clears throat> all the functions to the steering wheel so that he can choose what functions on here run the original functions on here. Good to go. <laughs> So, cool part about this is we plug this into the back of the USB-C and then now we have access to change all the functions on the wheel itself. So select this car. This is going to be for, uh, where is it at? So VASTI, start settings. This is a new device. Activate. Confirm. There we go. So the cool part about this steering wheel is like, for example, when the car turns on or it gets any type of power, you could put some of uh, like an effect to it. So like on my car, I have effect four. So you can see where it like, that's the startup and loading process and whatnot. Um, and then we could also click on each individual button. For example, like I'm gonna program that button right there. It gives you a list of all of the um, settings so uh, you could do horn volume you could do source hang up answer phone pretty much all of the functions that the uh, OEM steering wheel has you could um, it's all programmable within the steering wheel so this one just for instance I'll set this one to like volume up and then you could also drag and you could like make it whatever color you want to so um, 
we'll get with the customer, see exactly what color he wants. I think I know he mentioned he wanted it to be like yellow to match with like the OMP. So we could do that. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, we could program every color to yellow. You know, this one, if we wanted to make it red, we could do that or to match the pink, blue, green, yellow, purple, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, also with this one, since he is a manual, uh, it is an STI, this one does not have the paddles. We disconnected the paddles. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You know, it's very customizable. This is a special edition one. This is going to be one of the, uh, like the second vehicle that, uh, as far as like the VA STI goes. So this one is like an unlimited edition STI pink, but yeah. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and get with the customer and have him decide exactly what functions he wants for the steering wheel. Oh my God. Oh, she mobbing. What the lap? Wow. Oh yeah. All right guys, so Nick went ahead and finished programming all the buttons on the steering wheel. And um, as of right now, we've got, uh, I don't know exactly which ones are coded to what because he hasn't sent me the, the map yet that he made. But I know for like a few of these buttons, we have like these are coded to be the cruise control. Um, for this one right here, we've got volume. So you can see you're adjusting the volume with the knob on here. Um, and then for a few other ones, I'm not going to do it right now, but this one's the horn. But yeah, these, these wheels are basically fully customizable to whatever functions you want the buttons to serve. So well, you could, I mean, I mean, you could literally do anything. You could code your, you could code your paddle shifters to make the horn go off. Like <laughs> you could do literally anything. It's like sky's the limit with the choices you can make as far as the functionality of the buttons, so. All right guys, so James and Leo just finished test driving the car. No air lights, right? No warnings, nothing. So very, very cool. Again, all the functions are programmable and um, I don't think there's anything else out there for the STI uh, like this. So again, if there's, they make a bunch of different models, we're gonna put a link to their website and to our product pages in the description below. So please check that out. Uh, we're also gonna put a discount code on the site. Please see that also in the description. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit us up anytime at Studio RSR on Instagram. Instagram. and please remember hit that like and subscribe button helps us out a lot and oh by the way so we're also right now as this video is going to be posted it's going to be middle of March we are in the middle of our spring sale so also please check that out we'll put that in a link as well but yeah very very excited to release this for Zestec on the STI and uh, hope we can get more different cars in here and start installing these if you guys want to check it out please stop by the shop anytime Ha <laughs>